If you've been watching tech influencers lately, you might have noticed something. A certain subset of these influencers all use the same setup. I'm talking about the Primogen, TJ DeVries, and Chris at Machine, amongst many others. Now, what's interesting though, is watching these people use these setups. It looks like magic. They're all just flying through their workspaces and their windows and their panes, and their hands never even leave the keyboard. And they seem to move so quick. What the hell is this setup? Well, to tell you up front, it's essentially Linux, a tiling window manager, NeoVim and Tmux, and a few other goodies. And it's clear that these bespoke tools give these creators insane productivity. And guess what? It's not that hard to have this setup and I wanna show you how to do it. So this is the start of a new series. In this series, I'm gonna show you how to install Linux from scratch, and we're gonna use Arch, by the way. And we're gonna show off NeoVim, Tmux, our tiling window manager, a cool status bar, and all this stuff. We're gonna rice it, we're gonna make it look super nice. And along the way, we'll be exploring Linux and some of the philosophy behind Linux as well. So without further ado, welcome to Linux for Noobs. Let's go, nerds. <laughs> Now we aren't going to be installing Linux in this episode just yet. This episode is more about just showing you these amazing tools, how they work together so that we can all get all jazzed up about tiling window managers, Linux, the customizability of it all, and shucks, even NeoVim and Tmux. I'm gonna show you the amazing productivity boosts you can get with this setup. And then in later episodes, we're actually gonna get into the nitty gritty of installing Linux, installing and configuring a tiling window manager, choosing a terminal, choosing a status bar, all that great stuff. This is gonna be an amazing course and I cannot wait to get into it. But first, let's talk about our Linux distribution. Now, believe it or not, I don't think the actual distribution of Linux is all that interesting in this setup. You can use anything you like, any mainstream stream distribution of Linux and get the same results. But for me personally, I like Arch Linux. And let me tell you a few reasons why. Number one is the rolling release model. Essentially, the rolling release model allows you to update all of your packages to the latest security updates and the latest patches that keep everything on your machine at the latest and greatest. Now, some other distributions like Ubuntu, Red Hat, have package managers that point to repositories that don't get updated that frequently, mostly because they want a long-term sort of structure so that things don't break. But the rolling release model is amazing because you can keep everything nice and up-to-date. Do you remember that XZ exploit that was found recently? In Arch, in the rolling release model, you can update really quickly and easily to the latest security patch of the software that was vulnerable. Now to update all my packages, it's actually pretty simple. You can type something like, Pacman dash S Y U. And that will sync all of our repositories, update everything. And then every package on our system is going to be up to date. And it's just that simple. Yes. So now every package on my machine is at the latest and greatest patched version. No more security vulnerabilities, no more exploits. It's now at the latest and greatest. It's pretty cool. And another reason to love Arch is the minimalist approach. Arch doesn't even ship with a display manager. There's no GUIs. When you install Arch, you're dropped into the terminal and then you can choose what GUI and what display manager you want. And that's great for us because we're not just choosing some random display manager, we're choosing a tiling window manager. And so that minimalism really helps us out. Now, a third reason to love Arch is the great community. The Arch user repository, the AUR, has amazing packages and it's very well documented. It's all really well set up and it just feels very professional and it feels like a nice, stable, solid community. The Arch community really is great. And the last reason I love Arch so much is because I can say I use Arch by the way, and that means a lot, especially on the internet. Now there's one downside to Arch and that's always been the case is that the installation can be a little bit difficult. Arch is actually kind of notorious for this. However, it's not that difficult anymore. And in the next episode, I will show you why. It's really not that bad. So now let's talk a little bit about the tiling window manager. So what exactly is a tiling window manager? Well, to explain this, let's go over a little bit about like the general Linux stack. Let's see what that looks like. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but in the past for diagramming, we've been using this company called Eraser.io and they've actually been partnering up with us and they showed off some new features to us that I think are really cool. It's basically AI driven diagramming, which I think is kind of awesome. So let's check this out. Essentially, we can type in plain language what we want to put in our diagram. So let me just talk about the Linux system in general. So we want to generate a diagram 
that shows the main parts of the Linux system organization. There are three parts. One is the hardware. Two is the Linux kernel. This includes process management, memory management, and other things. And three is the user processes. And these include your GUI, your servers, and your shell. And we can say that the hardware includes your memory, CPU, etc. Now we type control enter to generate this and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, that's actually pretty awesome. Now this in general is your Linux system organization and our tiling window manager fits right in here in our user processes. This includes our GUI, our servers and our shell. So let's make another rectangle titled window managers and it'll include a list including all of the great tiling window managers. There's i3wm, there's awesome wm, there's hyperland, which is for Wayland, by the way. There's sway, which is basically i3 for Wayland. And don't worry, we'll go over what Wayland is in the next episode. We're just showing off how these things are set up. So let's generate that. So now this diagram kind of lays out what we're looking at here. We have our GUI, our servers, and our shell under our user processes. And within the user processes, that's where we put our tiling window manager. That's where this gets installed in the Linux stack, so to speak. And we have a lot of window managers to choose from. There's i3wm, there's awesome wm, there's hyperlink, there's Sway. There's a lot of interesting stuff here. My favorite is i3wm. It's a little bit antiquated, but it's stable and it works really well. And it's also very configurable. And the fact that it's a little bit older means that there's a lot of packages that support i3wm. Again, we're going to go over this in the future in another episode. We're going to show off how to install it, how to configure it, all that great stuff. But honestly, you wouldn't go wrong with any of these choices. These are all really great. Now, of course, there's another piece to this that we haven't really talked about, and that is uh, the general like display managers, right? These include GNOME, KDE, and other things. So over here, let's talk display managers. And again, these include things like GNOME or KDE. And essentially what a display manager is, is it's part of the user processes, but it has a lot more stuff built into it. It's not just a window manager. A window manager really just manages your windows, but a whole display manager comes with a lot of extra built-in features. Like GNOME comes with GNOME settings. It comes with other tweaks and other various things that you can use to change the look and the feel of all of your windows. And KDE comes with a similar similar suite of packages that can change how things look and feel and how you can set up and configure your stuff. It also comes with other packages and they're really great, but we're not talking about these right now. We're, we are getting into the nitty gritty of actual tiling window managers. That's what gives you that feeling that you're just attached to your computer and that you can do anything you want. It truly is an amazing feeling. Now to show the difference between these things, I actually have a tiling window manager installed right here. I don't know if you've noticed this, but this is where it is. Now this is i3w I love i3wm. It's my favorite tiling window manager. And essentially what a tiling window manager allows you to do is have really easy key bindings in order to create windows and manage windows and panes and all kinds of stuff. Let me just show you really quickly how this works. If I exit my terminal, all I have to do is hit mod enter and mod is my option key, by the way, and that will open up a new terminal. Now, if I hit mod D, it opens up a small program that selects the thing I want it to run. So if I type Firefox, I can run Firefox right next to it. Now I can easily cycle back and forth between my two windows in this same window. It's super easy to do and it's really fun. So now I can open up a new workspace really easily by typing something like, I don't know, mod six. Now I'm in the six workspace and I can open up something different like Spotify. So now I have Spotify on my six workspace. I have our diagram on our second workspace and eraser and our third workspace. We have a terminal and Firefox. So two, three, six, two, three, six. It's super easy to go in between all of these windows. It takes no time at all. So I feel like I'm connected to my computer and I'm just like in there, but it truly is amazing. And now this is the same computer, the same Linux distribution running GNOME. GNOME is a great display management environment. It has a lot of great defaults and the windows look really great, but this is a stacked window management kind of setup where you have to drag and drop all your windows where you want them to be. Now GNOME is really nice, but it just doesn't give you that kind of flex Flexibility and freedom a tiling window manager gives you. And that's why I love tiling window managers. So I'm excited to have you join me on this course to show off all of these tools, how to install all of them, how to configure them, so you can get the insane productivity
productivity boosts that a lot of other creators are showing off. So be sure to subscribe and follow along. And hey, thanks nerds.